Welcome back to the program. Lou and Jackie here in Stivers Ford Lincoln. Downright proud. It's Lou. Great organizations and great things happening in Central Iowa. Absolutely, including great theater, especially when it incorporates our youth in our area. And that's what Des Moines Young Artists Theater does on a regular basis. But they put on some of the best productions and they have one coming up this weekend that you probably recognize, Legally Blonde. Mm -hmm. They're doing Legally Blonde Junior. So we had to bring <laughs> in the director, the choreographer, the one that's in charge of everything happening on this incredible stage so you can get all the details. We want to say good morning to Haley Mills. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. And of course, besides the director choreographer, you have to bring in some of the superstars. And one of the first ones we wanted to bring in this morning is a bruiser, as you know, <laughs> in uh, the movie or the musical, uh, along with uh, the bruiser's trainer uh, this morning, and that's Amanda Cantwell. Hi. So thank you so much for being here well, as you. well. All right, so it's, it's bruiser in Legally Blonde, mm -hmm. but what does bruiser normally go by? Raider. Raider. Okay. Yes. Now, does, does uh, Raider get confused when they call him Bruiser during the performance? Um, no, actually. He kind of came, came by it pretty naturally. It didn't take too long to kind of get him to cue into that. Uh, must come from his mom because she's pretty talented herself. So she was a performer as well? Yes. She actually played Bruiser in the Wonky High School play oh, last okay. year. So. So keep it in Start, all, the, keep it yep, in the family. Stardom's a little bit in their genes. <laughs> all right, and Absolutely. how? how but you're also a trainer, uh, mm -hmm. which helps. So kind of talk about that and how this all came to be. Um, well, it actually started as with his mother. Um, I was 20 and I got her. She's a papillon, and I was kind of a little bit lost on what I wanted to do. And she kind of started my passion for dogs and raising them and training them. Wonderful. So. And tell us a little bit about your business. Um, so I'm a trainer. Uh, the canine coach is mm -hmm. the training part about it, and uh, Eben Ebenhart Kennel is the breeding part of it. Okay. And what I do is I work with dogs with severe bat past where they are just too anxious. They have actually bitten someone out of fear. Okay. And I help rehabilitate them. I work with service dogs, training them up. So it's a little bit of everything. Wow. How long of a, a training session did you have to get uh, you know Bruiser in Legally Blonde ready to go for the freeze performance? Um, not too long, actually. It was a few days, max. Oh, um, really? Just teaching him, instead of speak, it was bruiser, or starting with the other lines, and he just picked it up really quickly. Well, so that, ends, that ends up being the cue, then, mm -hmm. for the training procedure. Exactly. Wow. So he picked up on the new cue for the lines. How as, about that? To speak. Which is amazing. And anyone that's ever had to work with an animal, mm -hmm. uh, you can see how calm he is right mm -hmm. now, yep. and obviously <laughs> able to be in front of people and, and handle the situation. And that's so important, uh, Haley, when we're dealing with kids and music and, and dancing and things like that. Yes, there's a lot going on. There's a, a lot happening on stage with with Raider so it's been really great to have his personality be so calm and he's so well trained and he you know he is so easy to direct as well. well so. Because that's a big part of the show besides you know the lead and all the performers around telling the story the the dog is an intricate part of the story as well. Very much so yes um, it is an intricate part L Woods would not be L Woods without Bruiser. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that, that's the yeah, point I'm trying to make. So let's talk about Legally Blonde Junior and why it's important to tell this story and how much fun you're having with all the kids that are involved with this production. Absolutely. So we have taken a different stand on the traditional Legally Blonde. Um, instead of L Woods being the, the ditzy blonde, she is a symbol of woman empowerment. So L Woods is strong, L Woods is smart, and she is fully capable of getting into Harvard Law School. Oh. So it's very, very important to tell this story, especially in this day and age, um, and you know all the other lessons that come along with it as well. Wonderful. So, so but this is going to be a junior production. We want to remind everybody with Des Moines Young Artists Theater that it it, you're getting kids involved telling this story. Yes, ages eight to eighteen. So we have a wide variety of students um, from all different backgrounds as well. We have actors who have never done a show before. We have actors who have done numerous. Um, we have actors with two legs and actors with four legs, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> so a, a, a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, and yes. I, I understand there's going to be 27 students that are part of this production. And, and, and kind of looking at uh, who is it all involved, there were some stars next, next to names saying, this is my first time ever being on the Des Moines Young Artists Theater stage. Yes, over half of our 
actors. This is their first time. Over with, half. Over half. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yep. So was that more of a challenge for you folks to get things organized with the first timers? Yeah. You know, it's it's always a learning curve, um, but they've all been really great. They are all so talented, and and it's been really amazing to work with everyone. Yeah, it oh, sounds like wonderful. you guys are going to get things started tomorrow. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. We have a preview night tonight, and then opening night is tomorrow. Okay. And remind everybody where this is all taking place. The Stoner Theater. Oh, really? It, okay. Yep. Attached to the Civic, attached to the Civic Center, um, and it's now through November fourth. Okay. So if people want tickets, you do need to go through DMPA uh, the usual way on website uh, DMPA.org. You can call the box office five one five two four six twenty three hundred. Tickets as reasonable as eighteen dollars. You can't go wrong with that when you're going to go see an incredible show because you guys always just do it the best. But also you're encouraging students uh, to yes. get on stage and share an incredible story. And as you said, a new spin to this classic tale as well. That works. I, you know what we need to do? We need to see, can, um, uh, can Raider do right. a couple of tricks for us? Absolutely. All right, let's, let's see what Raider can do here because I'm, I'm just fascinated by uh, how <laughs> intelligent animals are. And then, by the way, that picture you saw earlier uh, of the dog, that was uh, Raider's mom, right? Yeah. Yes. What's Cup Raider's mom's name? Josiana. Josiana. A couple okay. of superstars there. And I, can I just say, I love the pink hair in the back. <laughs> How yeah, good is that? My groomer friend did that actually the really? other day over at Tangle Tales in Altoona. Oh my oh, gosh. Really? Yeah, she was so excited to see him going on stage and really proud of him. She's one of, or he's one of her favorites. Okay, oh, let's I see love if we can get ready to look toward the camera here. There we go. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Look over, sit. So cute. Spin. <laughs> Where's Al? Okay. <laughs> and is that a cue in the show? It is, yes. Oh my gosh. Yep, I so love he it. has four different lines that he is keyed oh, on. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Down. Roll over. There we are. Come on. And the little Harvard pink shirt as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. So adorable. That is really neat. And you said that one of the one of the cues are the name in this in the show, right? So we, mm -hmm. we see Bruiser? Yes. Okay. That's so an extra one that he can go off of. If he doesn't quite cue to the other lines, Bruiser is an extra one that can kind of like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. For, give us an example. Um, say if I were to say, where is L? And he kind of doesn't quite have it big enough. Well, <laughs> he really he's got, that, it. He got it that time. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. They could easily say bruiser to kind of get him back. Oh, in to the get focus. his attention. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. There's a lot of things going on on stage, and so sometimes he's like, okay, what, what, what's going on over there? Why are they dancing? And so having that extra command can help him just get a little focused more. Okay. So and he can wave, wave. Good boy. <laughs> that is awesome. High five. High five. There you yeah. are. So incredibly talented and one of the amazing superstars that you're going to see as part of Legally Blonde Junior starting tomorrow at the awesome. Stoner Theater courtesy of Des Moines <laughs> job, Young <dude>. Artist <laughs> Theater. But really quickly before we go, because we have another amazing performance from Elle herself coming up on CWI Live this morning. Remind everybody about your business and if people want more information where they can go. Yes, uh, the training part is the canine coach. Um, actually has Evan Hart, the canine coach, on Facebook. Okay. And um, if they wanted to see my website, it would be Evan Hart Kennel at pbwebs.com. Okay. okay. That is cool. So Bruiser, now did Bruiser respond to uh, just your commands or does Bruiser respond um, to everybody's commands? He responds to those he knows best. Okay. Dogs really do get uh, tied to their their handlers more than everybody else. They're mm -hmm. like, okay, that's my focus right there. He's actually also in training to be a service dog for nice. my mother. Oh, really? Yes. So oh. he helps her when she's having um, an anxiety attack. She's got some things that she has to deal with and he helps calm her when she's a little bit too worked up. And we've seen dogs like this, uh, you, know, uh, you know, take care of those tasks before. It's amazing how calming they yes, are. Yes, absolutely. So. And his mother's actually my service dog. Wow. For much the same thing. Wow. Okay, well, well, thank you for all the great work you're doing with uh, wonderful animals in our community. But get ready to see this amazing animal in Legally Blonde Junior. But more importantly, how about we hear from Elle herself, a new uh, woman-empowered character that's part of this production <laughs> with Des Moines Young Artist Theater. We're going to learn more when we come back and hear from Elle herself on CW. Iowa.